No. <laughs> Yeah, stealth. Uh, good. Good job. <laughs> I got stuck. Yeah, Ash's emote is only if you buy it. Like, it, it's not it, it's not separate. So it's probably a synced emote. I no. mean, or a built-in emote, that's what I meant. Ah, uh, because I'm, yeah. I'm playing, I have Kakashi and he's doing emote. Oh, well, never mind then. Take a look. <laughs> Okay. I like how I'm right in his face and he still can't see me. <laughs> yeah, it's extreme television. Yeah. Only Ash can use the chainsaw hand pickaxe. I have no idea what you're what you guys are talking about. Fortnite. Oh yeah. Fortnite, Fortnite. I can't see. I love that. With the chainsaw oh, yeah. hand, um, it says groovy because I know that's Ash's thing. <laughs> well, when I hear groovy, all I can think of is Earthworm Jim. Why is it so dark? I can't, I can't see. Oh my god! Oh yeah, you also get the Necronomicon. <laughs> I don't know how it looks for you, uh, you, you guys. No, I can I can't see anything either. No, yeah. it's, it's black. Yeah, I'm just using the I one. I can see, but I can't see. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I just had to use the wumper fruit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, great. Eh! Barely. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Dead. So how do you guys feel about, like, uh, all the added stuff uh, to the crash law, I guess, that Twin Sanity introduced? Like what? Uh, well, Nina, the Academy of Evil, the... Hey, I like Nina. The, the twins, uh, the, the whole dimensions that thing that got introduced with this game. You know, all that I mean, all that main, kind of stuff. The main takeaway is Nina, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's like, in terms of characters, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, one, thing, one thing I guess to take away from the post-Noid or Crash games is that uh, Crunch and Nina, I think, are pretty good, um, like, new characters to add to the series. That's why I only recognize the original trilogy, and it's about time, as Vulture Bob intended. <laughs> I feel like you probably have the most to say about this, Scrappy, so uh, you want to talk about how you feel about this? No, because I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, this is the mainline game that I played the least, but I mm. have a general understanding of what it's about. Right. <clears throat> also, yeah, Crash is like just killing children, that's great. Yeah. Oh, Pub apparently already got Ash Williams. <laughs> nice. Group. I'm more a fan of Ashley Riot from, what's a game called? Vagrant Story? Is that, is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah, it, I, I, um, what is it, it, the, um, that one developer, um, video about Crash, uh, Crash 4, um, is, it, it's interesting because no one seems to, like, pay, pay this any mind when he talks about how, um, like, like, he specifically said, like, it's about time happens, uh, before, like, the, uh, previous sequels we, good. Previous sequels we had, because um, I like, was it he 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 mentioned the uh, the um, how, was it how Lani Loli said oh you only beat this guy three times and he said like that's meant to be 
a subtle jab at the fact that like those games haven't happened yet, which is which is <laughs> interesting because like people don't seem to um uh look uh, people don't don't seem to like look at that and uh, I a lot of people seem to say like it's about time it's just retconning like the previous games or something um which oh, to be fair I thought that for a while too but um. I mean, it, that's coming straight from a developer, so I mean, there you go. Most people don't watch GDC panels, to be fair. Yeah. The question is, though, like, if they, for, like, a Crash 5, would they go beyond... I mean, it's weird, though, because the, the problem is that, like, um, they have the um, different universe Torna with the main cast now, but... She doesn't exist in the in the sequel, so I mean, how are you supposed to? What are you gonna do about that? <laughs> yeah, right. The elementals when they were wrecking havoc in the world during that Cortex, well, alternate universe Tana was unfortunately just. Oh my god. She's trying to think of something that's not horrifically heinous. <laughs> <laughs> she she just gets killed, I guess. I don't know. Either that, or she just like, uh, I mean. If if they do Crash Five and it takes place after it's about time, they could. I guess they could just do an ending where it's like, oh, I need to do crap in like my own dimension. Bye. <laughs> I must go now. My home dimension needs me. I guess, yeah. Oh, but how I, is this gonna work? Oh my god! I, can't... I think you should jump directly into the pile of green crates. Green means go. <laughs> I'm like very intensely. Uh, looking at my TV, because I can barely see these platforms. Yeah. Get good. Oh! Uh, I saw it! Was, it was going back up! So, yeah. do, like, the students of this academy okay, okay. have to, like, cross pass it every time they want to go to the bathroom? Oh, God. Yeah, oh, I see. I, so messed up. I think I need to, like, go backwards. Alright. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, yeah, this GDC panel, which was, yeah, I don't have my mic plugged in, I'm eating, obviously, but. Uh! It's, um. Oh, damn it. You got greedy. Yeah. So the GDC panel was released, like, last August, like, 2021, so, yeah, I didn't know it even existed until, like, a month ago. Yeah, I didn't know it existed until you brought it up, like, one time. Like, even the Wikipedia article, which cites the GDC panel, does not mention the its placement and continuity, so... Yeah. The game's placement and continuity, so it's like... Wikipedia's like, yeah, this is a direct sequel to War for retconning the other post night dog games, but according to Paul Yan, it's not, so... Yeah. Because I... Yeah, the, the thing is, like, uh, that I keep... That I keep hearing from people about it, It's About Time is that, um, it's a... Uh, like, they say how the game says, oh, there's, all, with all these different dimensions, like, these other games in the series could have happened in, like, alternate dimensions, which, I mean, if that was the case, that, I mean, I that could also work in the, its own way, I guess, but, um, it's like, I guess it's established now that that's not the case, so, I kind of wish more people would, like, actually talk about, like, not even Canadian Guy A, to my understanding, has even said said anything about I, this. I was against. I, I wanted to say that, but uh, <laughs> I, yeah, that was how'd, you how'd you die from that? I don't know, but I, I could still move <laughs> a little bit. That was funny. Were Cortex is like teeth chattering, like they were toys or something. Yeah, yeah, the Canadian. Yeah, kind of gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in like an over. Yeah, Twin Sanity is like very. Over the top, cartoony, gruesome. Um, but yeah, like Canadian guy A is like one of the one of the guys that has like talked about how like oh my god, uh, like different dimensions, different games happen and all that. And yeah, I I don't know I I just I feel like I feel like the it just needs to be cleared up at this point. I mean. Not that, <clears throat> pardon me. Not that I think Close and Bob has much control over like marketing decisions, but yeah, they could, they could have been a little more transparent back in like June of 2020 about this. 
Yeah, I, I think that's the issue. Like they, it, it, like it's not exactly very clear. Like if it's, oh my god, these nitros are evil, dude. Um, it, it's not very clear in the game itself whether or not it's supposed to be a, a like a a, a, a rat, retcon sequel or whatever. Now imagine this chase sequence with like the flame crazy sequence of that time. The, the what? The flame crates, you know, the ones that shoot Oh! Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you repressed those memories, didn't you? Yeah, I- I like the- I like- okay, I like the idea of adding new types of crates, but, um, the- the flame crates aren't it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we'll have- if-, if whenever we play that game, we'll, I'm sure we'll have a lot to say about it, but... Yeah, I said- I think I said my piece when you did the live stream last year. I barely remember anything I said during that. Um... One. You talked about, I guess, time trials and how doing them with Cortex was hell. Yeah, I mean- I mean, the time trials in general are kind of hell. I don't- Oh, uh, let's see. I- What did I mention? I- I'm- I okay. Mean, wait, what? Just of some random thing I mentioned at the live stream last year, like, um, mm. I talked about Be Cool Scooby-Doo's, like, troubled development history. <laughs> production history. Like, that show was cursed, and that's actually le legitimately a shame. Mm. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say, though, um, I'm, wo I'm one of the, the people that actually really likes, uh, Time Trials and Crash, but not when it's, uh, required to do to get Platinum Radix just to get the best ending. Like, that- that's where I draw the line. Like, y Oh, good. Uh, I enjoy going for golds because, like, it's hard enough without being too frustrating. Um, and it- and it's like an extra thing that you don't have to do. You can just go f for sapphires if you don't care enough. But, um... For- <laughs> yeah, forcing the player to do plat- well, not forcing, you don't have to- get the best ending, I guess, but, um, to do that to get the best ending for Crash 4, like, what the hell? <laughs> no. Don't do that. You, Platinum Relic should be nothing but a bragging rights, uh, thing. They want to make a Crash fans Crash game. Yeah. See, I- I would- I'd probably be a lot nicer to the completionist, uh, side of Crash 4 if, um, you just had to go for golds and, uh, put, um, put- okay, a few things. Uh, you could- you could probably, like, cut a lot of levels in two. Um, remove the three deaths or less- less gem. Uh, make it so you only have to get gold relics. And also- Remove perfect relics from the game entirely because those are dumb. <laughs> if you did all those things, you, I, I'd probably, it probably would be my favorite game in, in game in the series. But because of how annoying it is to 100 percent or 106 percent, I guess, um, it kind of the the complete completionist side of it just is. I don't want to do that ever again. Also, get rid of it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about inverted. Like, I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. I was gonna say, um, <clears throat> my concerns over the um, potential, I guess, um, board. My concerns over, I guess, like, um, what was I gonna say? This, I guess readability of the level design due to like all the filters they apply side. Mm. I think I'd be fine with inverted mode like this is like a second quest. That may that maybe though, yeah. I feel like it should have been like a completely like like a side thing that didn't like good. If it didn't have its own set of gems and whatnot, I think it would have been fine. How much longer are we gonna go for? I'm getting tired. Uh, no, probably not too long. I can probably stop at the end of this, uh, uh, world, I guess. I don't think there's too much left. Where's this? Nina's 
uh, getting to Nina, her rooftop adventures. And then, like, the Madame Amberley fight. Why am I just a little sick watching this now than I was at the last session? Uh-huh. I don't, by the way, I don't know, I, I was looking away for a while, but I don't know if you know, if you showed this off, but if, 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 if Cortex runs out of ammo, his animation changes. <laughs> yeah, he like, oh my god, dude. What the? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, U Uka Uka was just like in the, oh yeah, uh, that, that's one thing I like, uh, when you're playing as Cortex or Nina, you get Uka Uka instead, which is cool. Makes sense. Yeah. Although the 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 Aku Aku masks uh or the Aku Aku boxes don't change, you know, you win some, you lose some. Dude. But yeah, I guess uh, the que question is, oh my god, the question is then, uh, like, ugh. For like a cra crash five, do I keep on doing that? Oh my god! Uh, like, do they just pick up from crash four? Do they just go to the like? They just fast forward because like, um, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know if I really want just to follow up to crash four timeline wise because if they do that, that means like we still can't have characters like Crunch and Nina and I. That's like something that I severely missed in uh, in It's About Time. I don't know if we. I don't know if I want another game without them. All right, I'm back. What hi. did I miss? Oh hi! I didn't realize you were gone. <laughs> oh. When did you leave? Like about. I don't know. I guess like five minutes ago. I guess. Uh! Damn it! I keep knee jerk reactions are bad. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know, do you, are, are you still here, Scrappy? He's muted. Oh, okay. And Jason is deafened. Sad. So it's just you and me. Yeah. Oh gosh, I missed talking about Crash. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically- Because I am alive. Yeah. So did you, did you hear what I said? Um... I, I, I'm sorry, I was not. I was seeing my nephew. Okay. No, I was basically saying how, like, I I don't know if I, wa I want to, uh, like, I want, like, a Crash 5 or whatever to just, to be a direct follow-up to Crash 4, because if we're going by the uh, timeline um, and how, like, these games happened after Crash 4, uh, that would have been, like, if a Crash 5 takes takes place right after It's About Time, we still wouldn't have characters like Nina and Crunch and all that. And I don't think I really want a sequel without those guys again. So I I don't know. I don't know I don't know what you don't we'd want, really do. You don't want to see who again? Huh? You don't want to see who again? No, I I, I was saying like I, I don't I don't want a sequel where we don't where we don't see uh like Crunch, Nina and all those guys, because um it was. I, I. I already. Kind of, I already missed them. What? Uh, in. It's about time, and I don't know if I want to do that. I, I don't know if I want another game where those guys aren't uh, like there again, because it just kind of feels wrong at this point. I was gonna say it. Like I was gonna say, just. Oh, that poor robot. Yeah. <laughs> Just killed by a bunch of students. Yeah. No sound effect. Yeah. Yep. This is a very well-made, polished game. We promise. Yeah. Anyways, what were you saying? 
provided Toys for Bob's plan of like actually, you know, kind of setting up the other post Nine Dog games, you know, you know, ruined by a whole lot of extenuating factors. Yeah. Okay, first of all, is banging. Yeah, I love this track. Yeah. I, I wish you got to play as Nina more because she's like basically a different version of Crash, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like, I'd imagine plans are allowed to kind of just go through uninterrupted. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh. I'm not sure how things will uh, pan out. Okay, yeah. Oh, gosh, just... that, that, that's an instance of, um, uh, of the full, damage. full damage death. Yeah, that, that's that's a clear, that's a example of that, yeah. And it was I normally go see fall damage in like side scrolling segments, so that's weird. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, continue. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> nice. What the heck? <laughs> this uh, game is. This game is something else. Just a personality. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see why you. Just so much. Hmm. Those are some rodents of unusual size. I have to say. Yeah. In terms so, of yeah. um. Actually, no. I. It's a. I probably. I don't know if I'd say this or t this or Mind of Immune has my favorite crash story. But like both of these favorite are like what? just cr like just crash story because just because like they, they they just have so these two like Twin Sanity and Mind of Immune just have so much fun with the characters. Yeah, they are. They have. There's, oh my god! Like this is crash games were always funny, but I think Twin Sanity yeah. when they got really funny. Yeah. I mean, the uh, the previous games can only do so much with like the limit limited cutscenes. Good. Oh, that's not fair. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, at least you survived so, this one. Toys for Bob. Okay. Yeah, if they allow them to do their story plans. I guess uninterrupted. Then I don't know wh when we'll see crunch. Like I, I imagine crunch like, credit sequence for their crash fives. Like. Plan of the week has failed yet again. He'll be like, "Okay, it's time for drastic measures. Engine begin production on our new Bandicoot." And then, uh, do do you think they'll like uh, have like a, a a tease for like how Rafa Cortex starts or something? I guess it's possible. Like, I would be actually kind of I kind of would be interested to see like <laughs> like I would be interested in seeing just how like who is kind of able to. Compul compulsory, like, force a little get back together. Yeah. Because all the villains are kind of scattered right now. <laughs> that is a good point, yeah, because, like, um, the, yeah, um, Rafa, Rafa Cortex basically could happen whenever, because it doesn't really, no game really leads up to it. Um, so it's like, yeah. uh, oh, you worked on this project ever since the last time Crash defeated you, and that can literally be whenever, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, like... <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, I guess... Um, I, well, I guess it depends on if, like, we... I, I assume we'll get a Crash 5 eventually. I God knows when. I, uh, I mean, there's a rumors of, like... Like, Wumpa League or whatever being announced at Game Awards. So I guess we'll see if that comes to pass. You know, this weird. This segment feels like it would not be played in this. This is like not quite beat him up, but it's getting close. Yeah. So yeah, Nina is definitely one of my favorite. Um, well, not not just characters in, in the series in general, but like for this game, it's definitely. Well, I guess just playable characters uh, in the series in the sense that, like, she's kind of just, kind of like a different version of Crash. She doesn't, like, replace uh, replace him in terms of effectiveness or anything. She has, like, her own kind of gameplay style that um, fits different kind of level design, which which I think uh, works really well. I, I like this a lot more than, um, I mean, Cortex is fine, but... Um, I, I don't think he's the greatest in this game, at least. 
to constantly need. It feels like a dry run for Crash Force Tana. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, when I saw Torna in Crash 4, uh, Nina and Twin Sanu was like the first thing that came to mind when I was uh, looking at that. I don't know if that's intentional, but... Oh yeah, that's right, because yeah, mm -hmm. Tana does use that weapon. Hook. Yeah, it's very similar... I be surprised. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very similar, um, like, gameplay. Like, it's not one-to-one, -one, but it's like very, 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 um, very alike, if you will. They're very generous with the Aqua credits level. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> or maybe I'm just used to a crash game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, cra yeah, Crash 4 is like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to play as Nina that much. I think it. I don't remember if there, there are, like, there are any other sequences besides this and the final boss. Which is really unfortunate. But obviously there's a, there's another instance of cut content, because, yeah, originally there, there were supposed to be more Nina sections, but, yeah. Yeah. Again, I oh. if this if this game was finished and it had like all the cut content, it probably would be just straight out my favorite Crash game. Let's say, I guess on the subject of I guess of a Toys for Bob Crash Five, like Nina could theoretically just show up whenever and just be like sequestered from like Crash's own plot. I guess so. Yeah, I mean that's a fair point. I I will say that like. Uh, Nina did make a cameo appearance in one of the endings, um, so that's something. Yeah, she did. <clears throat> Why is it so dark? <laughs> because it's nighttime. Man. I guess. Well, I like the nighttime. <laughs> yeah. I do like. I mean, I like the night sequence, but yeah, it could be a little. The architecture could be a little bright. Uh, yeah. yeah. Readability, like, because I do like the aesthetic of this level. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I say like, I really like the art style of Twin Sanity. Like, it just, I think it just, it's um, I think it's a nice follow up to the trilogy as a, as opposed to what Rafa Cortex did, which is basically just a really watered down version of what Crash looks like. Um, I think I think this what this game fits the the series a lot more. Why are there so many gosh darn rats? So, so many what? So many rats. Many rats. <laughs> oh yeah. Fairly long level. Make up for Nina being a non fat for the game. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't even she doesn't even have a voice in this game. <laughs> Uh, well, kind of. She, I think she goes like, "Huh," in the like the last cutscene, but that's it. Yeah, I'll give it to me. But that, that, that like barely counts. Yeah, and it's more, yeah. more crash as in this game. It's more. I mean, that's also more crash. The more dialogue that Neo gets in the Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> but again, she's mute, so. Oh, oh, the, okay. I, I was confused on what you're talking about for a second. Oh, <laughs> by the way, Xavier. <laughs> yes. Um, but one of the, uh, one of, one of the monster things they have in, um, uh, in the Fortnite store, it's like, a it's Fortnite's own created monster. The back bling is called La Bom <laughs> La Lama Abomination. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the description. We lost the assembly instructions on this one. Our bad. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, I okay. So I know that Xavier, you said you yeah. Okay, so you haven't you, you haven't played this game, and Jason, you haven't finished it. Um, I assume you finished it, Scrappy. What? No, this is the only mainline game I haven't beaten. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm the only one that's finished this game. That's interesting. Oh, good. Oh, you had to hit that. Yeah. Because I was gonna ask, like, where would you like rank this for, like? Uh, for, for the series, but I guess if you haven't finished it, that's a bit hard to 
let's do. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, played, it. I haven't played it. Yeah. I haven't played it. Well, I can't answer that question. It's definitely for me. It's definitely on. It's definitely on the upper tier at, at the very least. I can safely say that this is in the top eight of mainline games. Yeah. I like no question. I like this better than Rafa Cortex. I will say that by default. Oh, damn it! I like. I didn't even know this sequence existed until I'm until now. Yeah. Um. Like this. This game can be metal at times. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I might. I put it. Okay. I put it above. I put it above Rock Cortex, Rock Cortex, I put it above uh, Titans, I don't know about Mind Over Mutant. Um, arguably above 1 and 2, I'm not sure though. Then at 1? Uh, I, I play, okay, well, um, I don't, I've kind of grown to appreciate Crash 1 over the, over the years, but more so the Insane Trilogy. I never want to play the original ever again, but um... Like we, oh my god! Okay. Uh, we take those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it, it, if if you, with the exception of like the bridge levels, um, Insane Trilogy Crash One, I actually really like nowadays. Um, I don't know where I'd rank it with um, some of the other games, but um, I appreciate it a lot more than I used to. Um, I uh, honestly, I pro I probably rank it above Crash Two at least. <laughs> Which is probably like, sacrilege to a lot of people, but, um, I don't know. The, the enemies, like, just die when you... Wait, what? Like, I saw Nina, like, fall from, you know, from a fall, a modest height, and then the enemy that was around here kind of died. Yeah, I don't know. I also like how you can still, you can see the, the beam source before the enemies actually spawn in. <laughs> Again, the... the very polished. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the thing is, that's not even a glitch or anything. Uh, uh, Nina, are you okay? <laughs> um, that was that like that's not even a glitch or anything. That always happens. Mm. Oh god. I mean, you can you could easily just kill these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh my god, camera. Oh, good. Oh, that's that's fair. What? Why is it loading? How far back are you? Uh, what's it doing? Um. Oh, there hasn't been a checkpoint since here. I don't remember how far back hard. this is. What? Why? What does it look like? Nita's like. Head's gonna fall off. <laughs> has a big hair, like the, 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 the way she like tilts her head so much, like it looks like <laughs> it doesn't look right. <laughs> All right, okay, it's just hairs. That's fine. My if I hear that line from him like seven more times, then it's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Why is the camera like so bad? Oh, so though, I guess those enemies just gave up. Right, I think this is like the last part of the, of the area. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm not a manberly. A barber. <laughs> and I have a limited bullet. Yeah. You do have to be careful where you're standing, because otherwise you can get trapped. So she's a Sith Lord. Apparently. Evil. It's the power of evil. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, this... It's an interesting fight. <laughs> what? 
Why does she need rope? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the concept of this fight always just confused me. It's just really weird. Like, was she doing a stage production and she was like, put like the sand down? Maybe. Yeah, I'd believe that. Yeah, this, this fight isn't too bad, but you, if, if you're careless, you can get in trouble. I have a Cortex boss, at least. <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice if uh, Nina had a had a boss all to herself, so like we had the uh, at least like one boss for each uh, uh, character. And then I guess there's also all the bosses with the oh god, the crashing cortex uh, combo. Oh Jesus! Nice. <laughs> How about are we? I think it's gonna send us back to the Nina part. Oh god, um, how would they do that? They were being so merciful with the checkpoint. Yeah. Earlier. Oh boy. Well, at least okay. Well, at least we we can get through this like part like in like a minute. I, I don't know. You don't. You, if you're fighting a boss, you shouldn't have to go through the rest of the level. Hell, yeah. even Dingadile, even Dingadile had a checkpoint right as the fight starts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Th this game is very off and on with like uh, checkpoints and save point. Uh, generosity. Like, sometimes it's really good, other times it's, it's, uh, the, uh, engine battleship. <laughs> yeah, this, this game could use a remake. Yeah. Alright. Oh. oh, you can't skip yeah, cutscenes. Damn it. I didn't call him a pharmacist. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So you just basically space yourself out. <laughs> yeah, basically. So she won't. So she won't open it on you. Yeah. How did you, for the little bit you played, for the bits you played of this game, uh, for both, uh, I guess more so is for uh, Jason, uh, what was your experience? Um, I'm gonna describe it. I was more so just having a hard, I was more so just taking time to get used to the controls. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I can believe that. It is very different. All right, let's uh, not die this time, please. Camera. Yeah. Is it looks like they close on their own. After a while, it seems like it. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Go. Go on. Okay, that's okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, he's back then. Now I'm doing this. Oh, so many bells! Okay. For whom the bell tolls, it tolls for these! <laughs> okay, now we're done. Oh my god. And that's why she doesn't appear in Nitro Fueled. <laughs> we killed her. She's too big. Okay. Just making like the simplest jumps with Cortex just <laughs> just terrifies me. Come along. Crash, have you been there this whole time? Yeah, he's just been chilling. No, he was still, he was parking the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Yeah. So I I think like you just kind of go on like a platform. Now leave. Yeah. 
So once we get back to the thing, we're stopping, right? Okay. Good. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think we just go on it's garage. Look, yeah, just go. I don't care. Um, it just cuts. Yeah. <laughs> We left a gem behind. Um, we, we don't care. We, yeah, we let we uh, missed a, quite a few gems. It's fine. Oh, the right. So Harry. Wait, what? Evil twin backstory time. Yes. I also gotta let the fact that the N on his forehead was lowercase when he was a kid. Yeah. Is it Nina's lowercase? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely heartbroken. I know we're just kind of awkwardly here. Yeah, we're just back here now. I like how he, I like how his flashback argued with him. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I don't oh. know why I like this. So I, I think I just fell through the blimp. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I like gags where it's just where, where it's like flashback or shit argue with the president. It's like uh, Ember's new group when when they get back to the beginning of the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like they already seen it. We, we get it already. <laughs> okay, so this one. Well, we're done. Yep, I think this would be. Okay, well, see you for the finale because we're definitely ending this next time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna end it. End it here. Uh, next time we're gonna go to a new dimension, and then we'll finish the game. <laughs> A, a new, a new adventure, la la. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we'll, you'll definitely be finishing the Why game. Do we have nine crystals, by the way, huh? I don't have nine crystals. We only need six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut we'll, up. we'll definitely finish the game next time, and then <laughs> shut up. Uh, yeah, and, and then we'll just we'll see the extras that we unlocked through the gems, and uh, yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, see you guys next time. Have a good night, everyone.